Hello guys, my name is Luca and in this video I will take a look at the most budget friendly unit that belongs in the LG Soundbar series. the LG SN4 with wireless subwoofer. This soundbar is designed for those that seek a nice audio upgrade over their TV but without the need to spend big bucks. When you first unpack the unit, you have to connect both the soundbar and the subwoofer to a power outlet. Then, you have to choose how you will connect the SN4 as you get to choose between HDMI, digital optical connection, Bluetooth connection and even USB. When all wires are connected, you can power up the unit and you are ready to go. At the front of the subwoofer here, a green light should indicate that pairing with the main unit is done. Solid green, since this is usually done at the factory, but even if it's not, by pressing the pairing button on the back should do the trick. The LG SM4 soundbar is a basically a 2.1 channel surround with support for Dolby Digital and DTS for a very good sound experience. The unit comes with basic playback and streaming capabilities as there is both USB and Bluetooth available. It supports high resolution audio which is a plus for such a cheap model. $100 for this soundbar. The LG SM4 is ease of use. Not very complex settings and setup, good quality for the price tag, and an overall friendly user experience as this unit is targeting more of a casual market than a hardcore audience. Overall design is nice, as with all LG soundbars, by featuring curvy corners and straight lines. On the right side of the main unit, you will find the layout of buttons with a power on and off, volume control and a function button that can be used for various functions depending how many times you press it like input selection, bluetooth and usb. Fortunately, the LG SM4 soundbar have a full LED display that is positioned at the center of the front face and provide you with various information like input selection and volume amongst others. I also like that if there is no common press for 15 seconds the display will be darkened automatically so it will not be distracting when watching TV or at night. Having a LED display certainly puts it in front of many other competing soundbars that don't have one and improve ease of use in a major way at this price range. Looking at the main unit, the LG SM4 soundbar features a low profile making placement under a TV as easy as it gets. The soundbar is low enough to let the sensors of most TV unobstructed and it is very easy to handle. In the package you will find wall brackets in case you plan on putting it on the wall. The output power of the soundbar and the subwoofer is rated at a total of 300 watts of power which is not bad at all for such a small looking soundbar and price range. On the back of the main unit are two inserts, with one insert placed right next to the power connector where it is only the digital optical input, while the rest of the connectors are placed on another insert in the right side of the back and have a HDMI input, HDMI output that has ARC support, there's only ARC and no eARC support, as well as a USB port that you can use to connect external storage and stream audio from there but the placement of the USB port is not practical at all. The soundbar doesn't have a aux port that we usually see but since there is an optical as well as an HDMI port available, missing an aux port is not such a big deal. The wireless capabilities of the soundbar are limited to Bluetooth which means you can stream music from any mobile device like smartphone or tablet to your soundbar 
but the unit is missing Wi-Fi connection. In the package is included a remote control which provides all the necessary buttons in order to control all the standard functions. At the top, shaped in the power symbol, we find the power on-off button with two large buttons below that control the volume, mute sound and circle through function and input button. Under this, there are three big circular playback buttons that you can use when streaming music while below them are a group of six buttons that handle different functions like sound effects, sound tuning, information, repeat, as well as folder selection. The buttons have the usual rubber feel and their big size made it easier to press the right one. If you don't want to bother with buttons turning on and off, the LG SM4 has CAC functionality that means that the unit will turn on and off automatically when it detects a signal in HDMI port and will take the volume controls from the TV directly. As far as its performance, the LG SM4 will certainly offer you a gentry boost of sound in all aspects compared to what your TV could output. Soundbar is missing any kind of Atmos hardware or Atmos capable virtual tech, so no overhead effects. The included subwoofer is doing a great job as providing the extra bass power that a TV needs, but the mid range sound, in my opinion, is the weak part of the soundbar unit. The LG SM4 is clearly not hi fi material, but you should never expect it to be with a $100 price tag. It's an excellent proposal and it offers more sound than the TV. At the end of this review, I want to say that the LG SM4 soundbar is an excellent choice in case you are looking for an easy to handle and simple to use soundbar as its plug and play design will certainly attract many of you. General design and build quality is ok. The sound performance is good enough for what you pay and LG by adding a few but certainly important extra features like Bluetooth, USB streaming and high resolution audio support, they created a very attractive offering at this price range. The LG SM4 is the best low cost offering that is built for casual users looking for a system that will upgrade their TV audio without spending too much money or having to deal with complex settings and features. Conclusion. If you want to improve the audio sound of the TV, the LG SM4 soundbar, in my opinion, is the best budget soundbar on the market that offers all the functions that someone needs. What are your impressions? Feel free to subscribe Audio Tribe YouTube channel and please hit that like button. Cheers!